Hey friends, so we just got back from our maiden voyage taking the scamp down south. We uh, went down south for a Craigslist deal to get some gear for the camper that I'll talk about in the next segment. Um, we met with a guy named Mike who was super helpful, invited us into his home and talked us through the equipment that we were purchasing and just overall great experience. And then while we were down there, Mike lives just about an hour from Mammoth Cave National Park, um, which I had been to, but not since I was uh, a kid and John had never been. So we thought it was a good opportunity to go to Mammoth Cave. And um, because of COVID, a lot of it was um, closed still, but we were able to do a walking tour um, in the caves on Sunday. And then the day before on Saturday, we did a lot of hiking above ground. So it was, um, yeah, really fun. And the forecast was... Uh, that it would rain all weekend, but we actually got really great weather. It rained on us when we were driving in and it rained a little bit as we were leaving, but we didn't get any rain on us. So we felt very lucky about that. Yeah, so overall, just great experience. Uh, first time taking the scamp out, nothing went wrong, didn't have any issues with anything and uh, towed really nicely. Uh, it was an eight hour drive down there and an eight hour drive back. So yeah, it went really well. All right, hey friends, we are in Kentucky staying right outside Mammoth Cave National Park. First time taking the scamp out and we mainly came down here to pull in this haul which is going to help us turn our trailer into a mobile office for myself and Alyssa. So in this box we have Pepwave um, Max Transit. It's a LT modem that's going to give us um, Wi-Fi capability in the trailer by a cellular carrier carrier of our choice. We'll probably go with AT&T since we have Verizon on our cell phones and we can use those as hotspots. This is uh, an LTE 2x2 two, uh, two MIMO antenna that we'll use in rare cases if we're at a spot and the cellular signal, signal is not good. We were, we're going to purchase like a 25 foot telescoping pole that we'll put this on the top of and then point it in the direction of a cellular tower. It will run the long wire to this, um, which will be in our camper, and then that will give us good signal and be able to get Wi-Fi inside the trailer. So like I mentioned before, this is the Pepwave Transit Max, um, which is really Going to be the game changer so if you come in and look at this setup in here so this is the two by mimo antenna connectors which gives us um, a way better signal into this modem which is also going to be our wi-fi here's where we'd enter our cellular sim card so we still have to purchase that um, you can also boost wi-fi so if we're in a campground that has good wi-fi um, we can run two antennas uh, uh, into here and it'll boost the GPS signal as well inside the trailer um, so what we're planning to do is to buy a much smaller antenna than this one um, to mount on the top of the trailer and then put those through into the trailer uh, we'll get a we'll get an antenna that supports cellular uh, MIMO 2 by and Wi-Fi and GPS connect those all into here and then have this permanently stationed inside the trailer um, and then here's where we hook up the power and then this gives us um, a landline so we can run a hard line to a computer uh, it also um, give off wireless as well so yeah pretty excited uh, we'll have to figure out what data plan we still want to get um, we're thinking about uh, AT&T prepaid 20 gigs unlimited or 20 gigs high speed, um, unlimited data, but obviously we can be throttled after the 20 gigs of high speed, so. Now we are on Cedar Sink Trail, which is in the National Parks Journal Top 10 to do a mammoth cave. Birds 
so crazy how it's just a mud basin. Do you think those are deer prints? I don't know. Switchbacks. That we're going down. That are going to lead us to the Green River. Remember what this spring was called? River Stick Spring. R River Stick Spring. Okay, bye.